Jags are two and four, not where they wanted to be after yesterday's loss to the New Orleans Saints. Overall, it was a pretty lackluster game with the final score 13 to six. News for Jack Sports Analyst Mark Brunell joins us now here on the morning show. Offense was flat. It was flat, surprisingly flat, actually. I mean, after five weeks of Gardner Minshew going up and down the field, uh, he finally, for the first time, looked like a rookie. Uh, but, Bruce, that's okay. Um, I think it, we all expected at some point that he would struggle a little bit. There would be a game that, that uh, uh, would be a little bit of a setback for him. And yesterday was that setback for him. Now, in his defense, of course, he was playing a very good New Orleans Saints defense. Uh, good pass rush, good at the linebacker positions. Their secondary is one of the best in the NFL. Um, it was a tough day. It was, it, what was hard was it was a must-needed win. It was at home. It was homecoming weekend. Uh, everyone in the stands was wearing mustaches. <laughs> it was just a bad day for the offense. He is a rookie. And, yep. You know, I, I, well, you and I were chatting during the commercial break, and I said, how does he deal with it? And you said 24-hour rule. 24 hour That was my rule, at least. You know, and, and uh, listen, I had, I had plenty of bad games where, where just for whatever reason, you couldn't move the ball, you make poor decisions, you fumble, you throw interceptions, and that's hard. Uh, you're not going to be perfect for 16 weeks, of course. And as the quarterback, when you lose... Uh, game or you have a, a, a game where you're just not moving the ball, 226 yards, six points, uh, it's really on you, and you should feel that way. But you have a 24-hour rule. You watch the tape. You learn from it. Uh, you can pout. You can be angry. You can blame yourself. You can blame everybody else. But after 24 hours, you have to move on to the next game, and that would be my advice for Gardner Minshew, and he knows that, Bruce. Um, you have to uh, be very critical of yourself and learn from your mistakes, and then you just move forward. Uh, after today... Gardner Minshew has to start thinking about the Cincinnati Bengals. And he's got the fans behind him, too. Oh, there's and, no and question. The fans, the fans love this kid. I love this kid. Mm -hmm. I, just it's his ability to come in as a rookie, a six-round pick, and play at the level he has played at has been impressive. Then you take that and you combine it with the personality, the moxie, the mustache, the headband, and him just being a, uh, just one of the guys. I love everything about him. And he'll learn from this. He'll get better. But yesterday, of course, was, was not a good day. Some people are asking, is some of this about Jalen Ramsey, too? Oh, I don't think so. No, I mean, not on game day. And everyone probably handles this Jalen Ramsey thing different in the locker room. Um, but I think, for the most part, most of the team has pretty much moved on. Realizing that Jalen probably hasn't been with the team the last three weeks, or at least he hasn't played. And it's pretty clear that he doesn't want to be a part of the Jacksonville Jaguars that he'd rather be somebody else, that he's probably not going to play anytime soon. That's my guess. Um, so I think the team has moved on. And when a team moves on, it doesn't become a distraction anymore. You put it behind you, you go forward. But I wouldn't put this game or the last two games on Jalen Ramsey's situation at all. This team is uh, focused. Uh, they just played poorly uh, on one side of the ball yesterday, just the offense, because the defense really stepped up yesterday. Oh, they did. All right, let's talk about something that was your baby, the Jaguars Gala. My baby. Man, I'm telling you, uh, everybody who went said it was a great time. Got some pictures to show. Yeah. Prime Osborne. And, you know, Jaguars legends were there. The Jaguar leadership was there. Man, what a great time. It was a great time. It came together. And I have to give uh, a lot of credit to uh, PRI Productions. Randy Goodwin over there knows how to throw a party. He knows how to put together an event. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce was great in organizing this, and, and uh, it was a lot of fun. 80 former Jaguars there. We probably had, I don't know, seven or 800 people there. There's some pictures. Coach Coughlin was there, Mark Lamping, uh, Shad Khan, of course. It, I don't think it could have gone any better. I had so much fun. Uh, the band was great. Uh, I, everything about it just, it was perfect. We got to celebrate 25 years of being a franchise. And we got to celebrate that moment with a bunch of fans. We had a lot of sponsors. It just came together so nice. I'm gonna, I could go on and on, Bruce, but it was. we've never had an event like that in Jacksonville uh, to celebrate this organization. And I was really proud to be a part of it. Favorite moment? Surprising moment? Uh, probably favorite moment was, uh, gosh, too many, but uh, seeing Jimmy Smith, um, sharing some time with Shad Khan, thanking him for, for the moment that we had. The most fun, uh, reconnecting with old teammates. But then uh, my daughter and I got on the dance floor, and uh, we danced a few songs. She's a great dancer. I am not. We had a lot of fun. It was a perfect, perfect night. There you go. More on that on newsforjacks.com. Marco, it was a pleasure.